you know, there are some grand challenges that uh, in different scientific areas that uh, are tackled by the big supercomputers. Um, so, for example, in understanding the human brain um, is a, uh, one of the grand challenges. Trying to set up these systems, which are kind of called biomimetic systems, systems that try to copy the way biology works to do a task. And so that's where we developed this idea of using our simulations as what's called a neuroprosthesis, something to step in when a piece of the brain is not working. And in the case that of the simulations that we did, run a prosthetic arm. And this is where, again, the supercomputers like Comet were used to solve those uh, models very fast and then use the output of that model to the prosthetic arm, which can then um, you know, pick up an apple or an orange. To optimize these simulations requires a lot more computer science and HPC sophistication than we have. And so we've been redeveloping and constantly augmenting, improving our software with assistance from uh, Amit and from uh, Suba and some of the other people at San Diego Supercomputer. Uh, who have been really extremely helpful. Where they're moving towards next is having the sensation that is felt by the prosthetic arm back into the sensory part of the brain. As they develop these models, they will be, the sensory part of the brain will, through the prosthetic arm, feel that it is something hot or something cold that a person is touching.